Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Sagittarius. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now. What they're thinking about you, what they like best about you and the connection, what they don't like as much, hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice spirit has for you. So for the main cards of the reading, I will be using the traditional Rider Waite and if clarifiers are needed, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano. Let's get started. Spirit, what is the person that is on Sagittarius' mind thinking about them right now? What are they feeling? How are they feeling about Sagittarius? What do they like best? What do they like best about them in this connection? What don't they like as much? What are their highest hopes? What are their highest hopes? And what are their deepest fears? What? Whoa, my goodness. Okay. Now I'm going to get three cards for what is likely to happen what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm gonna lay these face down, whoa, over to one side, and we will look at them together at the end. Oh my gosh, these cards are jumping. It's like almost distracting the way they're just jumping out. Very interesting, okay. How this person is thinking about you, what they're thinking about you is the queen of pentacles. Capricorn energy could be significant, strong in your chart or your person's, but this really is like the minor arcana empress. This is the kind of person that you take seriously in a connection. Like this is the kind of person you can, would want to be um, exclusive with, someone you might even want to marry, like that kind of energy. This is someone who feels like you are very attractive, interesting, intelligent. They feel like you have it together, like you take care of yourself, like that kind of energy. And, um, and they genuinely like being around you. It's a very positive card. What they're feeling is the tower. So this is kind of a different energy. Um, Scorpio and Aries strong in this card could be strong in your chart or your person's, but this is somebody who is shook up. Like something has happened that has thrown them for a loop, maybe in their personal life, maybe in this connection, but they are kind of reeling. Like if you got quiet or stopped talking to this person, it could be really like throwing them off. Or if the two of you had some sort of challenge, disagreement, or if something has come between you um, that has made it complicated for like the next step or whatever it is, like it is really throwing them off. But let's go ahead because the tower energy does not necessarily have to be negative. It really depends upon what it is paired with. So let's go ahead and see why do we have this tower. The tower clarified by the tower. Whatever they are feeling for you, and clearly there's a lot of interest here, has thrown them, it's thrown them for a loop. It's shaken them up. I mean, it could be like falling for you, meeting for you, realizing that they feel very seriously for you. Like they really would like to be um, closer to you, maybe in a commitment with you is shaking them up. They didn't expect whatever is happening, whatever they're feeling. It's kind of, I mean, it's kind of changing everything. I mean, I don't think I've ever had the tower clarified by the tower. There's just no denying it. Something has changed everything for this person when it comes to you. But what they like best about you is the six of wands. Um, this is somebody showing up, returning, like after a challenge, after a battle. Could be somebody showing up after a personal battle or after like a difficulty between the two of you. It is quite possible that I am connecting in with the energy of someone where there has been something that happened between the two of you that... This person wasn't expected. And maybe if, you know, the two of you start talking or connected or something recently, they're very excited to see you and hear from you. It's very positive. They also could like that... Um, strong Leo energy here, the energy of somebody who is very confident, they are seeing you as like successful and whatever the case is, if this person has not seen or heard from you, they are excited. They're excited for a chance to see you and be around you. Let's go ahead and get a clarifier for that. 
Spirit, why do we have the Six of Wands in what this person, wow, Knight of Wands. And I keep seeing the world on the bottom of the deck. All the fixed signs could be significant here, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. But I do feel like if this person has been far from you, either like physical or emotional distance, like or, or a challenge between the two of you, maybe a cultural, maybe something with family or friends, um, if they're feeling like the two of you are a world apart, I feel like there is this energy of them um, wanting to do whatever it takes to overcome that distance, to be near you, to see you. What they like best about you, Knight of Wands um, and Six of Wands energy. A lot of passionate, fiery energy here. And uh, more Leo could be significant. Of course, Aries and Sagittarius as well. But um, but a lot of uh, a lot of that energy there. And could even be somebody that's missing you and like planning a trip to see you in summer. Obviously, that's not for everyone. But I also saw the sun on the bottom of the deck. And with the world, it's almost like if something happened and this person had to go away or move away or they've had to focus on other things, I feel like this person just wants to see you. They want to be near you. They're very attracted to you. A lot of fire, a lot of passion. And they like your fire. Like they like your heat. They like if you're adventurous, you know, they like that about you, Sagittarius. What they don't like as much is the nine of pentacles. Maybe they see you as being very independent. Maybe they're worried that maybe you don't, you know, need someone necessarily in your life, but that's how we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to need someone. We're supposed to want someone. We're supposed to be in like a balanced, solid, stable place so that the person coming towards us, they aren't coming to save or rescue us or make us whole or make us better. They're just coming to join us in the good place that we're at. So it could be that they see you as really independent and maybe they have a little bit of nervousness that they don't, you know, have enough to offer. Wow. Um, Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords. Interesting. Virgo energy could be significant here and Aquarius. Um, they're definitely not telling you the whole story. Something is not being communicated. Maybe the situation is that they don't know what's going on with you and they feel like you're really independent and they want to tell you how they feel and what's going on, but um, but there's something they're not speaking up about. And um, let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. The world card again on the bottom of the deck. Somebody could even be like planning like and saving for a trip or like a special day or something like that that they haven't told you about. But it, there also could be this energy if they really see you like feel like you have it all together and they've got some fears about some things going on with them because there's been a big change or shake up in their life. Their highest hopes are the two of swords and the judgment card, which is very interesting because this is all about a decision. The two of swords is something like when it's time to make like a heart over head decision and somebody's trying to be logical and trying to be smart and then with the judgment card the universe comes in and just like shows the way it says it's you know the universe says it's time this is the decision and um this could be somebody really hoping that something like is going to happen that make it all work out almost like um nervous about making a decision or taking the initiative and just hoping that something happens um, Libra energy could be significant here with that two of swords, but this really is the energy of putting the past in the past. It's a positive new beginning. It's divine intervention. And I feel like this could be somebody that hasn't told you like the whole story about everything they're feeling. There's been some sort of difficulty or challenge. They could be hoping for some divine intervention, but, or hoping that maybe you're going to come in do something, say something, but you know, we are the creators of our own destiny we have to communicate we have to step up with the judgment card it is complete like very positive that it can be like a big turning point so it could be that if there's been challenges or difficulties or miscommunications between the two of you or even some kind of secrets on your side or their side they want to put that in the past with this energy um 
here, it's like they want to be open. I feel like they want to tell you the whole story about how they're feeling and what the next step is that they want to take. But they also have some fears around that. They have some guarded energy because their deepest fears are the three of swords. More Libra energy could be significant, but this person is afraid of getting hurt. It's very clear with the three of swords here in the heart space. They are afraid of getting hurt. Sometimes we can be so worried about getting hurt that we pull away from something before it's almost like before somebody else has a chance to like um like disappoint us or let us down we'll like pull away because we're scared and then the thing that you fear you end up creating and so it's almost like they could be holding back because of some of their own fears from things from the past or even something that happened between the two of you hoping that the universe is going to bring it all together and work it all out but they don't want another tower they don't want um there to be um, they don't want there to be pain or hurt. We have the Three of Swords clarified by the King of Wands, which is very interesting because this is strong Sagittarius energy. This could very much be somebody, you know, missing you, longing for you. Um, and for some of you, you could be in a really good place. It's just that maybe there's been a challenge or a difficulty or something unexpected, like long distance or something that the two of you need to face and sort out and work together. With the King of Wands, um, I feel like this person definitely is hoping to that to take some sort of action to show you how they feel or they're hoping that you're going to step forward. You have to take it how it resonates. I'm going to go ahead and look at what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. So what is likely to happen? The world card. And I saw it when I was preparing for the reading. I saw it multiple times during whatever has been this challenge, this tower, this difficulty. It's very clear. I feel like the two of you are going to find a way to overcome it. It's going to be different for every single person watching this. And for some of you, it's just a personal tower moment happening with this other person that they're trying to sort through and overcome because they want to close the distance. If they're, like I said, if there's physical distance or emotional distance, they want to end an old cycle. They want a new beginning. They want to be successful. They want to show up. They want to impress you. You mean the world to this person. They definitely want to cross some sort of distance and make this happen. So what are they likely to do? Wow. We have the five of wands and the four of wands. Oh my goodness. Um, Aries and Leo energy could be significant here, but this is definitely someone wanting to take some sort of action to have a positive, stable outcome. I do feel like this person wants to be with you. They want to take it to the next level. I mean, with a four of wands, it's one of my 1111 cards, especially paired with a judgment. For some of you, you could be dealing with a powerful connection, something very strong, something you're both feeling. This person wants like this happy, you know, this happy, lasting connection with you. They want to build something. They do want to take this to the next level, but it seems like they're very conflicted about what to do, what to say, what action to take. And sometimes when you don't know what action to take, you can be scattered all over the place, send mixed signals. But I do feel like if things are kind of confusing at first, if they have been like sending some mixed signals or, you know, saying one thing and then, you know, and then all of a sudden you're not sure what's going on. I feel like that energy is going to be balanced and overcome with a world card and a four of wands. This is the two of you coming together to really make something happen and make something work. So what is your advice? Four of Swords. Interesting. Um, Aquarius energy once again could be, oh wait, no, strong Libra and Aquarius and Gemini, but strong Libra because the um, two, three, and four are more uh, cardinal energy. So with this Four of Swords, this is the energy of um, putting the, the painful past in the past, taking some time to heal, taking some time to process. If you have been through something difficult and painful that has thrown you for a loop, maybe you just need to take a little time for you. Do what it is you like to do. Um, meditate, take a spa day, you know, walk in the park. Um, take a little time to process and release some of those old, stressful, painful thoughts of whatever might be from your past 
past, maybe in this connection, or maybe something that's happened long before this, it's also got you a little nervous. Take a little time to process, to heal, and then when the moment is right, when you'll be able, you'll be ready for this Ace of Swords, for this new beginning, to see things in a new way. Could be psychically communicating with someone, dreaming about someone, but wow. We have the star card and then we have the knight of cups on the bottom of the deck. I do feel like this is a romantic communication. This is like falling in love. This can be, you know, if some of you are releasing someone that hasn't been right for you, you could have somebody completely new coming in in a very positive way. But we really are looking at the energy of this person who is on your mind. So if they have been feeling overwhelmed, if they have been feeling kind of shook, waiting for the right moment to do whatever needs to be done. This is somebody showing up with a very romantic offer. This is somebody showing up to tell you how they feel and it's connected to you with a four of swords and a star. Aquarius energy could be significant here, strong in your cart or your person's, but take a little time for you to process, release the past, think about what it is you want. Be your authentic self with the star card. This is somebody who has been through a tower, who has been through a challenge, and they are rising from that. Like the phoenix from the ashes is their true self, knowing who they are, expressing yourself, being authentic, not overthinking, you know, what does this person think? What do they want? What should I do? What should I say? What should I be? You just be you. And you taking a little time to process and heal and then showing up as your complete authentic self is drawing in a very romantic offer and a very romantic connection that is extremely positive and definitely can lead to a very, very stable, connected, beautiful relationship. So... That is the message I have for you. I do hope that you all find that helpful. Definitely collective message. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you like the reading, I love you. Put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you'd like to get to know me a little bit better, what I do um, and what kind of readings I offer, all of that, my website is charitygenice.com. I also have a lot of my art and poetry on there. I had that website long before I ever even started a YouTube channel. So I have a lot of like art, poetry, things like that. Um, so I'd love to, I'd love to hear from you all if you do feel guided to um, check out my work or see about a personal reading. And mainly, I just am so thankful you all are watching these messages, commenting, letting me know that they resonate and, um, and that they speak to you. It means everything to me. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, and I'll talk to you soon.